The Crusades are a touchy subject today. Many people see them as acts of violence perpetrated by warmongering Christians upon peaceful Muslims. Most of us get an abbreviated story about the Crusades that leaves out quite a bit of information. Consequently, there are lots of myths about the Crusades that have sprung up in recent years. Here are three of them. Number one, the Crusades were unprovoked attacks on the Muslim world. The Crusaders are often depicted as bloodthirsty villains, descending upon peaceful Muslims to slaughter them in mass. But the Crusades were actually defensive wars. The Middle East was filled with Christians before Muhammad was born, and Christianity was the dominant religion throughout the Middle East. But after Muhammad created the Islamic faith, Muslim armies conquered one territory after another, all the way from Arabia to southern France. Well over half of the Christian world was violently overtaken by Muhammad and his followers. The Crusades were attempts to drive back oppressive Islamic conquerors and prevent the persecution of Christians. It was Islamic imperialism, not European colonialism, that created the Crusades. Number two, Christians fought in the Crusades to get rich. The Crusaders are often seen as greedy, opportunistic thieves who plundered Muslim lands. Most Muslims didn't have anything of value worth taking, though. The Middle East wasn't wealthy, nor did it have abundant natural resources. Sending a night on crusade took an immense amount of money that would never be recouped. Historical records show that some nobles bankrupted themselves because of the crusades, and whatever crusader kingdoms were established required a vast amount of money from Europe. These wars consumed wealth, resources, and lives with little to no return on the investment. For crusaders and the nobles who sent them, the Middle East was either a money pit or a graveyard. Number three, the Crusades led to modern conflict in the Middle East. Some American politicians often blame the Crusades for violence in the Middle East, as well as for anti-Western and anti-American attitudes among many modern Muslims. This rage is supposed to go back to 1096, when the First Crusade embarked for the Holy Land. But this argument is only about a century old. It dates back to the early 1900s. As author Jonathan Riley Smith states, One often reads that Muslims have inherited from their medieval ancestors bitter memories of the violence of the Crusaders. Nothing could be farther from the truth. Before the end of the 19th century, Muslims had not shown much interest in the Crusades, looking back on them with indifference and complacency. Why did Muslims pay much attention to the Crusades? Well, first of all, it was just another series of battles and a very long history of war. The Muslim faith was born in blood, a legacy that continues today. But more importantly, Muslims essentially won the Crusades. They retained possession of the lands they'd stolen from Christians. They interpreted these victories as indicators of Allah's divine favor. Most of the Middle East has remained firmly under Islamic control for nearly a thousand years, with Muslims seeing this as proof that God was on their side. Now, these three myths are very popular, but they are absolutely false. Historical records flatly contradict all of them. Unfortunately, they're not only popular, Sometimes they make their way into school curricula, which only further cements these myths in the minds of students. But the evidence is clear. The Crusades were not unprovoked attacks on the Muslim world. Christians did not fight in the Crusades to get rich. And this did not contribute to modern conflict in the Middle East. To believe otherwise is simply an exercise in wishful thinking.